Welcome everybody. Welcome to another Friday shout out. Today I'm excited to introduce my friend Justina, who is a wonderful, wonderful makeup artist, coach, and just overall wonderful person. And she's got some exciting things to share with you today. So hi, Justina, how are you? I see you walking. What's going on? Yes, I am actually just leaving a makeup job right now. So yes, thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> working on weekends too. You are in demand, girl. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's awesome. That's always exciting. I know as a business owner, you get to do your own schedule. And I know that we always like to like work with people when it's convenient for them. So I totally get it. Sunday or Monday or Friday or whatever day it might be. We are just exactly. on, right? Yeah. Try to make ourselves available. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, whatever works for the customer, whatever, whatever makes them happy. So tell yes. us about your mission. What is your business? What are you up to? What, what's your passion? Where's, where's it going? <laughs> yeah, so I have two businesses. I am a makeup artist and I'm also a mindset and brand strategist. So my mission really is to help women feel beautiful on the outside as well as feeling worthy and capable of, you know, fulfilling their dreams and their own desires. Um, that value, you know, where they know that they're good enough, they're more than enough, and they can just step out there and do everything that they ever dreamed of. So that's really my mission. Wow, and that's why you and I connected so well, because that's what I believe in. I believe in when we take great care of ourselves, when we know that we are on top of our game, looking and you know, beautiful and feeling attractive, that's when we you know, step into that meeting and we own it and we are like powerful, right? So yes. it could change everything, it could change your, your professional life, it could change your personal life, your relationships with your kids, your husband, your boyfriend, your girls. It's just, yeah, that, that knowing that you are at your, or in, in your excellence. Right. Mm -hmm. I find that a lot of times we are more concerned about, you know, being competent, like, am I checking the boxes, you know, and then sometimes we miss just that inner um, self worth and self acceptance, we miss that. So when we can get the inside and the confidence on point, it'll match up with everything else we're good at, you know. So yeah, that beauty on the outside and the inside. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. So what's your story? What brought you to this point? Like what? What made you inspired so to follow these steps? Yes, for me, I think it was about um, just being an undecided college student, you know, not having any idea, you know, what I really wanted to do with my life, getting married early, having children early, being defined by those roles, and then having to discover myself and figure out my own interests and my own passions. I actually have a master's in human service counseling. and who knew I would have went into the makeup business, right? So that was an old passion of mine. Mm -hmm. And I had to really begin to just give myself permission to step into that because there was so much judgment. There's so much, you know, what will people think of me and all of that. So that's really a part of my story about being able to define, you know, myself outside of the role of mother and wife and being a military spouse on top of that, you know, you're all about mission. Your husband's about the mission and you are too. So it's been a, it's been a really fun journey though. Wow. Well, I salute you for finding your own voice, your passion and just going for it. That's, that, that takes courage too. Yes, ma'am. not easy to do. So, wow. So what's exciting in your business now? Like what's going on? Yes, in my business right now, there's two things actually. I'm opening a new location because I'm an on location makeup artist. So I usually go to people's homes, but I'm actually putting down some roots after the husband has gotten out of the military. I'm, you know, able to spread my wings a little bit. So I'm setting down some roots and I'm opening a um, makeup studio in town so people can actually come to me. So I'm very excited about that. And then I'm actually going to be starting my second anthology project. So I wrote, um, well, I compiled a book last year with a couple of ladies on spirituality and success. And I'm going to be doing round two again. So I'll be putting that out shortly. And hopefully we'll find anywhere from seven to 10 women to join us in this book project. 
Oh, you will. You will. What do you need from our audience? Is there anything that you request that you need to support with? Yes. Oh my goodness. I would love just, I have a Facebook group, you know, and in that Facebook group, I would love to just have women that are present that would want to talk about, you know, their spirituality to talk more about their purpose and their goals and all of that. So if anyone would want to join my Facebook group, it is called um, multi-passionate women of faith. Sorry, letting the cars pass by. <laughs> Multi-passionate women of faith branded for his glory. So that would be something I would love from the audience. If you know other women out there that are wanting to um, really just dig deeper into their spirituality, their identity, their purpose, all of that, just, you know, invite yourself and invite some friends. <laughs> Wonderful. And we will share that links directly to your to your group and to your other platforms on social media so that people can connect with you and find you easily um so yeah we'll share that under the video that's wonderful that's so great my last question for you is tell us one fun fact about yourself okay this is a little risque i was like is it really fun i think it's more interesting like most people don't know about me is that i used to be a topless dancer so oh, wow. i tend to put that out there you know it's not you know people have their opinions you know it's not a field that you grow up to say i'm gonna be in but it is an interesting fact about myself and i'm gonna be writing a book about that you know how i went from the pole to my purpose so i think that that's a pretty interesting fact that i can share wow wow that is <laughs> interesting and i love how you how you own it how you're like you know i don't care who's judging who is thinking what i just own it this is a part who i am this is a part of my journey and i authentically share so i i congratulate you on writing the book about it and not being fearful or not being you know um i don't know like not hiding it uh, from the audience because oh yes people who are open and honest and authentic the most and the best. yes it's a part of my story and i teach my clients to own part of their story you know it's no longer a wound anymore it's something that has made me stronger and just made me more independent and brought me closer to god because he's the one that brought me out of that industry you know and i volunteer with a ministry called the sunshine the sunshine girls and we're based in savannah so if anybody wants to you know volunteer or donate to that ministry that would be amazing that's another ask i don't know if i get two but that would be my yeah, second one <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Absolutely>. ma'am. <laughs> you never know who hears you, and you never know who connects with you, connects with you, and who is maybe you know looking for what you're sharing right now, looking to connect, and like maybe for you to answer their questions, or if someone wants to serve in the same way you're serving and connect with people that you're connected to, then yeah, you never know. So yeah, if you have anything to ask, just ask. Well, thank, thank you so you. much for your time today, and uh, we are going to see you around, girl. Um, yes, social social <laughs> media, Facebook is probably your best, or where do you hang out the most? Yes, I hang out on Facebook the most. It's just facebook.com slash makeup by Jay Ford. I lump everything in that place, makeup by Jay Ford. <laughs> okay, sounds great. We'll see. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by and uh, see you soon. Bye. Bye.